Hey, what's up, YouTubers? The Digital Rhino back with another video, and today I'm going to try to make this cool, nuclear looking intro on Sony Vegas After Effects. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is download a file that I've supplied you. Um, let's see how many megabytes it is. It is 437 megabytes. The reason it's uh, kind of big is because there are lots of high resolution footage in here. So, yes, yeah, so let's get started. So, open up Sony Vegas Pro 11 or 8. 8 through 11, this works for sure. I'm 100% sure. Not so sure about 12, so yeah. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the file that you have downloaded. And the first thing, put in the, where did it go? It's the spinning atom. So just drag that here. And you could remove the sound clip because there's nothing on the sound clip. And here you go, this is what it looks like. Yes, interesting. Now, you can change the color, just go to video effects and go to color corrector. And just put this on here, for example. And we can make it blue make it purple, pink, whatever. Uh, we can even make it orange. No, there you go, red. Kinda. Oh well. So I gotta go through this pretty fast because in about an hour there will be the Mars Curiosity landing. So let's get started. Uh, just in case you want to know my settings, these are the settings right over here. You could copy them if you want. Let's get started. Click the pen crop and make sure... Oh, whoa, this is really weird. Let's make sure it's all hot. Okay, there you go. Make sure these two are selected and make it as small as you want. So there you go. That's pretty. Let's make it a little bit. Oh, no, no, that's good. Uh, so the atom is small now. You know, tell me it's a small atom. And now I want to make it flicker with the optical flare that I've supplied to you. Uh, before we do that, uh, hold the end and um, hold down Control also and drag it all the way to the bottom. You don't have to do this, but I like doing it because it makes the atom spin a lot faster. So because the atom does spin like so and yes and let's copy this and add another one because it gets pretty short so copy paste and there you go now let's make this a little bit smaller I did also supply an optical flare to make this look even nicer so the optical flare one drag it on over here and it's over here it's green also but you could also change the color again I drag this like down up to here and go to the compositing mode and click add and yes there you go and as you can see it's like a nice shining atom so if you watch this and you, a lot of you complained on my last video that you were getting a lot of lags so just go to the top click preview and auto and yeah it should definitely help with the lag and you can see it flickers and it looks really nice now I do have a sound effect for the where did it go a nuclear sound effect so if we drag it down over here make it smaller <clears throat> make it a little bit less and uh, if you could probably hear this so listen carefully I guess and then it blows up so for the blowing up part yeah uh, let's make this a little bit smaller up to that and bam and optical flare number two is the explosion. So let's drag that over here to the second layer. And again, this over here is completely useless. The sound effects on the optical flares. So let's delete that. And there you go. Now this is explosion. So if we watch it, um, there you go. It blows up. Now I do need the sound effect to come in at this time. So I'm going to go over here, uh, make the explosion smaller and go down because I do want the ending of the revving up of the nuclear thingy to you know you can still hear it it makes it sound a lot more natural so we could drag it down over here make sure there's a little snippet left and now if you listen to it blows up perfect timing remember you could also change the color of this to your liking alright then there you go now add your text now add two more layers for your text so just click on it and click control shift Q twice and you have two video tracks um, whoa. And then go to the end of the explosion optical flare, so optical flare 2, and then insert the text of your channel. I would recommend a two piece, but it doesn't really matter. So, digital for me. And make it any size you want, just don't make it too big. I make it 20, bold, and I use Bank Gothic MD, I believe. Uh, so, there it is. This is the one that I use. Where did it go? right over here bank gothic MD BT it looks really nice I'm gonna change the color of my text to I don't know does orange yeah I think orange will look nice there you go 
There you go, that looks nice. And exit out of that, insert another track in the bottom, and put in Rhino. <sighs> Sorry for the stiffing. Um, again, 20 font, make sure it's the same font if you're going to make a two-piece. Go all the way up to Bank Gothic. Again, uh, there it is. And there you go, it looks nice. And now it is overlapping and looking weird, so make sure you you deselect these both of these and then drag this out to the end of this okay I this is bad I messed up no okay it's okay uh, let's just drag it oh being a bit too big right now right that's what she said uh, okay now that's big enough now let's go down to the rhino and fix that up also it's too zoomed in I'm gonna fix that right now there you go There you go. That should look good. There you go. That looks nice. And now what I want to do is I want to make it, I want to diffuse this. So what I, what I mean by that is I want to go to video effects, go to defocus, and put it on that. And now if we make this smaller, uh, okay. As you can see, it gets blurred out. I want to blur this all the way out so it's not, it's not visible. Go to animate. And then, here you go, I'll show you. And then on the halfway mark, I want it to come back, like so. And then, all the way through this, I want it to uh, disappear randomly. So, I just want to adjust this by about, like, 5 or something. And then just make it disappear at the end. So, like that. And now if we go watch it, you can see that it disappears. It appears and then it disappears again. So now I want to go to the part where it does appear. So there you go, that's the part that it pretty much is uh, readable. You can read it. And so we're gonna I want to go at the rhino at the same time also so that it is equaled. Now what I want to do is since this is gone and since my you know digital rhino, I want to make something digital happen for me. So what I want to do is I want to go to TV simulator and make it give it a TV look. So bam. And what I want to do again is add a bad sync. So same thing under TV simulator. And that makes it go everywhere like crazy. And I'm going to do the same thing with the rhino. But I'm going to make the rhino a little bit different. I'm going to add some glint to it. So there it is, glint. Make it nice looking. There you go. But it, that's a bit too much glint. Oops. So I want to make it a little bit less. There you go, that looks nice. And I want to add the bad sync and TV simulator. Um, I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to have to adjust the glint setting for that then, if I do that. So, let's adjust the glint setting. Um, oh wait, I could just adjust it over here, sorry. Uh, video effects. Glint. Make it a lot more noticeable. Okay. So now I'm going to add the bad TV look to it still. I want to keep the TV look, but I don't want to keep the glint. So, there you go. Um, I got to add glint to the second piece again. Where did it go? There it is. Just highlight it. Make it, no, it's a bit too noticeable. There you go, that looks really nice. And don't worry, we're going to add more stuff. It's going to look nice. Really nice. Okay, so let's go to the part where it starts to disappear. So right over here, it disappears. So just click S to split it. Sorry if I didn't mention it over here. And, and I want the rhino to disappear at the same time. So I want it to disappear with the bad sync, so it's like whisked away. So let's go to, where did it go? TV simulator. Uh, bad sync, as you can see, does that. And then bad sync to the text also. So now if we watch this, that looks really nice. Um, now I did give you guys some more optical flare stuff. So let's go add, I think, yeah, two more video tracks. So control shift Q Q. And then we have two video tracks. Go to the Explore tab again, and that's where the optical flare should be. 
And so here it is, another optical flare effect. So if we go to it, as you can see, it's a light from the bottom. Go to compositing mode once again for the flare, optical flare 3, and go to add so that you can see through it. And let's, you know, I actually want to make sure you split it at the same time as you split the text. That's the best option right now. So S and bam, S. So now it's a nice light at the bottom, like so. Remember, you can change the light color, and it is flickering, so it looks nice. Uh, but you don't have to. Okay. Now that you have that, then you just can you can add the smoke if you want. It's completely your choice. But I'm gonna add the smoke because it looks nice. And go to add. Bam. And now what I don't like is that the position the smoke is in. So I'm actually gonna replace it. I'm gonna replace it with um, here. Just put it beneath the text. So there you go. It's nice. Uh, the optical flare. I don't know where I want it, but let's watch it. I'm gonna change the color of the smoke to a little bit of blue or something, cause that would look nice. Um, so just go back up to color collectors, to color correctors to change the color of your smoke. So do that. The second tab changes it a lot. So there you go. You don't have to change it. Just remember that. Now, the mistake that I made right now was I didn't split it at the same time as I split the optical flare. So now it's all split. And now I want to add the TV bad sync thing again to the beginning of the optical flare and the beginning of the smoke. So, oh, not that. This. There you go. So everything seems like it's matched up. Go down. <coughs> go down and do that. It sounded like I was about to cry or something. Uh, there you go. So now if we watch this, it's all weird, then it gets stable, that looks nice, and then it disappears again. I want to make it disappear at, with the sync, so I'm going to add the bad sync again, bam, and just smoke, bam, okay, now if we watch this, That looks really nice, but we're not done yet. We're close, but we're not. Uh, now what I want to do is I want to highlight this whole thing because I do want to make it all shaky because that will look nice. You don't have to do this. Just a lot of interest about customization. I'm just showing the basic steps to it. So when you do this, highlight the section with the top thing, the loop region. Only a highlight, uh, <laughs> highlight your text region so everything that you did for the text. And go to File and Render As. And... Uh, you could watch, you could look at my customized template. This is what I have. My video, this is what it is. And I actually made a mistake right now. Uh, make sure you make this to best full when you're about to render. Because that really helps make it look really nice. So now, render as, again. And just copy all these settings. Uh, make sure that this is very important. Okay, now that you have that done, title it whatever you want. And make sure render loop region only is selected. That's very important. Uh, then just click render. I'll cut and come back to this when I'm done rendering. Okay, I am back and it has been done rendering. So now what you want to do is delete all the text that you just did. So hold down control and click every little thing you just did. And then press the delete key. And then go down to the part that you missed and hit delete on that. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, no, wait. That's good. Uh, delete and delete. Now, go back to the part where you just uh, saved your text. Hopefully you saved it. Um, where did it go? It's on the desktop. Yes. And, huh, I wonder where I saved it. Confused. Oh, refresh. Forgot about that. Make sure you click refresh. Um, then go down and drag it. Drag it like that, oh. and then watch it just in case, just for satisfaction's sake. Bam. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is that you want to make the explosion a lot louder. So, just go over here and make it louder. Uh, make the DV loud, and bam. Because loud explosions are always good. I mean, explosions are supposed to be loud. That was awesome. Okay, so now, everything's set up. Now, what you want to do is make it shaky. So, click the pen crop. Make it bigger, so you can see easier. 
and then make sure you have these two selected and zoom in just a little bit yes sir drag a little bit forward shake drag a little bit forward shake drag a little bit forward shake drag a little bit forward and make a cool looking tilt drag a little bit forward shake drag a little bit forward uh, zoom in and out okay now uh, hold on control and then click every single little thing over here on keyframes yeah you just made and then after they're all selected right click click fast and then hold down control again and drag this out and make it as even as possible this saves you a lot of time from doing it manually every little keyframe so let's check this out yes yeah, sir oh okay there you go now let's watch this baby shake that was weird good auto okay watch there you go that looks cool all right we're pretty much done with the intro peoples so it look it looks magnificent the mag magnificent so let's just rewatch it to show you what you just accomplished hopefully wow look at that nothing is in sync let's tr fix that draft auto make it look like poop <laughs> There you go. You can add your own sound effects. You don't have to use mine. But the download link will be in the description. Thank you for watching, and I hope you like it. Goodbye. Okay, I actually, I actually messed up. So, <laughs> what I forgot to do was add the dust. So I did supply that to you guys also. The dust, and this is gonna be weird now. Um, let's go up. Bam. Add the audio up there too. Because the audio just, I don't know what's up with it. Now, we gotta add the dust that I just gave to you guys. So, I actually messed up. Damn. Um, so, let's go to the part where everything's stable again. Uh, there you go. There you go, it's stable. Click S on it. Get the dust that I supplied to you guys. This is also green, but you can change the color. I don't know, I thought I would go with green. I don't know why. This should be on top, actually. Uh, go to add. I'm sorry, I messed up. I feel really bad. Uh, there you go. It's stable. Okay. Uh, highlight it all. Make the dust come out a little faster. So I'm gonna. F oh no, sorry. The dust is actually white. You can change the color easily that way. Um, now, if we watch this, gotta make it bad sync TV. Ah, I feel. Oh, this is terrible. I'm sorry. Um, now if we watch this, we can see that the dust. Like, push, I'm dust. I'm gonna come in out of nowhere. Yeah, it looks nice. Whoa. Do you guys see that? I see it. I see it with my eyes. Something is messed up. Some. Oh, no, wait. Is it messed up? I can't tell. Oh, no, that's not messed up. Never mind. I did it right. So now if we watch it, there you go. The dust looks nice. And... Then it starts to disappear. There you go, right over there. Oh, poop. Okay, there you go. That's where I want it to disappear. So let's click bad sync. Add it to the end. And the dust disappears on time. I'm so sorry that I made that mistake. I, f I feel real bad. And now this looks amazing, obviously. Look at it. And then it disappears. I'm sorry. I messed up. Don't subscribe. I'm sorry. Alright, thank you for watching anyways, though. Bye.